Hello everyone, I'm Trusted44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Avedon 2. Last episode, we managed to escape from the lair of the dragon Vardigras. And we found out why Miranda is out here. She stopped by Vardigras to try and get his help on her way to the core. The center of the corruption. God only knows what's ha what she's going to try to do there. At a guess, she's going to either A, try to harness its power, B, try to amplify its power so that it, ex it expands into two of the lands of the of the Pact, the Kaba and the Wildrealm, or three, try to somehow find whatever force is controlling the corruption and behind all of this and try to get it onto the side of Delos and everyone else. No matter what, it's not going to be good if she accomplishes her goal. Even though it is a very risky thing she's trying to pull here. Because in all honesty, what the hell it are the chances of her getting control of the corruption, a region that is so chaotic that even being in it is a risk. <sighs> but for now, we need to head back to Avedon and report in, so let's do just that. Turn to Avedon. We also have various items that we can hand in. And, yep, level ups to do. First up, Kalida. Ooh, almost max level. Sure, two points in Blade Sweep. We'll get Berserker Slash next level. Yeah, she did pretty well, in all honesty. She's nicely powerful. No strength on this side, but that's not a big deal. Okay. Yoshiria! Um, you're pretty good. I'll give you a point in Intelligence to improve that. Two points in Blade Training, definitely. Get that as high as possible. Not sure what I'll do after that. Probably get that to six. Actually, you know what? There and there. That works. Alright. Diedrich! That was the name. Mm. Point in dexterity, I suppose, works. And... You'd only get two points and things, so... Call the winds wouldn't be worth it. I don't really get it. It's, it's not worth it. Nature Mastery might be handy, though. Yeah, yeah, I don't think Nature Mastery is a bad idea. Yeah, sure. Bit more magical damage and increases healing effectiveness. Probably na- well... I may improve Spirit Claw next level. And Alcander. Point in Intelligence. And... Two points in turret craft. Now they'll appear with haste. Excellent. And we have various items. These enchanted pantaloons I will give to you. Instead of the chain greaves. Uh, let's see. Summoner staff you might also need. Archer's gloves I'll give to you. Not sure about those two. Okay. Yes, yeah, Summoner Staff is... Same amount of damage. Extra magical damage, except instead of healing, it gives Beast Focus damage. It gives a bonus to Beast Focus. I'll do that. All right. Why do you have leather boots? Those are useless. And you... Definitely the archer's gloves. Much better than the steel bracers. Which I guess we can sell. And soft leather cloak. Bonus to dexterity. Mm. You know what? It's not that needed. And the rune etched buckler. 10% to blessings and curses, 5% chance to pair. I think we can sell that, too. Two runestones to hand in, and another Wand of Calling, which I may hold on to. Alright. First things first, we go report in. Easy enough to do. Actually, first things first, I may as well drop off my runestones. <laughs> this way... Drop off the icy runestone and the emerald runestone. I have not heard any uh, responses as to 
uh, my request for more information on what I should do with the runestones yet. That may happen in, I'm gonna say, two episodes, maybe? I pretty much posted that episode today, so I don't know. Anyway, hard protus. Uh, I found Miranda again. She was getting help from a dragon named Vardegras. You note your report as Protus takes notes. You found her again. She escaped again. She was heading into the corruption core. Understood. He looks at his notes again. Wait. She was heading even deeper into the corruption? You are brought another pouch of coins as a reward. You note that it is larger than usual. An extra reward, because I have found you to be such a useful and trustworthy confidant. I hope you see me the same way. I wish I could have you act on this information immediately, but there is something even more important. What can Miranda do in the Corruption Core? We have no idea. However, the power loose there is considerable. Someone as brilliant and malevolent as Miranda could. I will have research begin immediately. As soon as we know how to act, we will. What should be done about Vardegras? For aiding Miranda, even a little, the worm should be punished. It is not high priority, but should you decide to slay the dragon, we will not interfere. I have nothing else to report. Good. Your next mission is urgent. Every minute we delay increases the chance that our prey will escape. What is my new mission? Commander Odil believes that he has located the headquarters of the rebels in his region. Thanks to your earlier aid, he has tracked Christina and her most valued warriors to a camp in Titan territory. He marks the location on your map of the territory. Odil has already taken his forces there, but he has asked for some hands to aid in scouting the area. Go there immediately and help him. The rebels should, must be destroyed. Should I go to Rockridge Keep? If you must, but bear in mind that time is tight. I believe that Odil's second-in-command is in charge there now, a whole Glandian who is much more supportive of Avedon. Odil is in the Titan Peaks. How should I deal with him? Protus looks concerned. Deal with him? He is a political foe of Avedon, true, but he is also a powerful and skilled servant of the Pact. Redbeard will deal with him. You only need to concern yourself with hunting rebels. What should I do about Constina? Destroy her and all of her vermin. This is at least a true chance to strike a blow for the Pact. If Avedon can take part, it will give us much needed prestige. Act quickly, carefully, and with great violence. I'm on the way. Excellent and good hunting. Constina's lair. This is going to be good. I think this is the last region of that area. Alright, Farron leveled up. Point in intelligence, and... Uh, sure. Point in Path of the Blade, point in Path of the Berserker. Why not? Yeah, that's all I can really do. I can't improve any of these anymore, really. I mean, Warcry to get a weakness curse, and then this to partially respect spells, but I don't really use those much at all. Triumphant Roar is the only one I do, and level 3 isn't the best. Call of the Frenzy would be good, but I can't spare enough for that. I'll leave those to improve, because the extra boosts are nice. I may last level just improve Blade Sweep a bit so I can get Weakness Curse on nearby foes, but that's it. And Yannick. Point in dexterity, I suppose, and improve the magical mastery. Arcane blessing, eh? No matter. Okay, that's not bad. Let's see if we have any more information from my companions. Polis, do you have anything to say? No. Hmm. Nothing from my two companions yet. I don't believe I have anything to hand in to anyone. I still haven't gotten any more of these. Nothing more for Hand Cade. Anyway. We should go speak with everyone. I don't have anything for him, either. Hmm. I should still go speak with people. Let's start with upstairs. We may as well. few things and people I can speak with. You're seeking an audience with Redbeard. Okay, we've already dealt with that. We've dealt with her. Let's see if Redbeard has anything new to say. As you enter the hall, Redbeard is throwing squirrels at two of his hearts. This is chicken feed! Trivia! You do not need to waste my time with this nonsense! They flee the chamber, taking their scrolls with them. Heart Redbeard turns to you and smiles. 
My hearts are a great resource, but sometimes they need to be encouraged to think for themselves. Which reminds me, you have not been working for Heart Protus for some time. Heart Protus. Yes, a good fellow, but he see, but I see him very little. He is always downstairs, after all. What do you think of him? I have no opinion. And so you are the first human in history to have no opinion of your boss? Nonsense. Think and reply. Do not anger me by wasting my time. He is a loyal servant of you and the pact. Is he? I am glad to hear you vouch for him. I will sleep so very soundly now. Though before you go, there is one thing I might mention. Yes? Hot Protus keeps his quarters in the chambers under the dining hall. Also, if you ever find any papers you think are significant, Hart Callan will look at that. That is all. Leave me. He waves you away. Moments later, the hearts return, bearing letters and reports. It seems like he may wish me to investigate. I may. That's what he's implying. Uh, I think I may have something I can hand in over here. Uh, no, I haven't. I don't. Huh. I really never found anything in the corruption? I guess it makes a little sense, but okay. Uh, do we have anything to speak of with you, Yoshiria? Spoke of the Grey Raptor. He is not interested in you. You are very cool. Okay. I don't think we have anything new to learn from her. Let's see if there's anything from Yannick. Probably not. Yannick is very animated as he sits and does his research. You notice that most of his books have recently been taken from the Avedon. Um. Your research in Cowan Temples. I shouldn't have done that. I missed everything that was said. He's re okay. He's researching Talon temples and he wants to speak with uh, God in there. Uh, I'll reread everything. Hold on. I think. Okay. I'll be back in a minute. Fortunately, the reload I had wasn't too long ago. Let's try talking to Yannick again. Yannick is very animated as he sits and does his research. You notice that most of his books have recently been taken from the Avedon Library. They were all on the Tawan Empire, more specifically on the abandoned temples of the Tawan. Hello, Farron. I'm still hard at work with my stolen books. Stolen books? My Beringer is always angry at me for taking books out of the library. He threatened to have me sent to the dungeon the other day. Good thing hands are in short supply, eh? <laughs> You were researching Tawan temples. Yes, I had heard of them, of course, but I had no idea they were so fascinating. How so? They are possessed. Some of them have the actual spirits of their old sovereigns, worshipped as gods and then forgotten. Bundles of lost knowledge and forgotten magic, neglected, waiting for someone ambitious to give them the attention they desire. And you are that ambitious someone. Perhaps, if you take me with you, or maybe even if you don't. I have searched for a worthy subject of my research for years. Don't you think this might finally be my chance? Sounds fascinating. I would love to help you. Then take me with you into the Tawan Empire, or don't interfere if I go alone. That is all I ask. What else do you want to discuss? Well, we did. Have you found anything interesting in our travels? Oh, I believe so. I am quite intrigued by these Tawan temples. Ancient lairs full of ancient creatures. Imagine all they know, just waiting for us to approach and ask. Are you sure it is wise to tamper with ancient Tawan secrets you don't understand? Wise? Of course! How else are we going to understand what was once known but now is lost? Learned any new magic lately? Yes, from Avedon's trainers. From Avedon's li- Okay, that's all information we know. Well, we kind of did take you once, so are we going to need to run out with you again or something? Hmm. Well, we'll definitely take you the next time we go into the Tawan Empire, which is probably going to happen again. Alright. Uh, 
let's let's see uh, let's see if there is actually anything down here we can get information on. I'm curious. Let's see if we can find Hard Protus's quarters. Hard Protus quarters. Sure. Let's take a look. Couple snare mines. This is gonna take a while. Since I am on my own here. He won't be happy about this, but... Redbeard implied that I should try and find out information here. Alright. Let's destroy, destroy these two. Doesn't look like it looked too bad. You'd think these razor fingers would be tougher. Yet they're not. May as well get rid of the other snare line. This will take a short time. Huh, it actually hit me and it's hit my regeneration. Alright, let's see. Nothing in there. You open the box and find a lot of papers. Years worth of Hard Protus's notes are here. Most of them are old and uninteresting, but you find an unusual journal. It is a list of events, each with a date describing the behavior of some, un some unnamed man. He appears to be very tired and distracted to the point where he appears to be derelict in his duties. Entries like, found asleep again, report ignored, I responded, unsure about Baraza's situation, sent Valeria to dungeons, no evidence. You aren't sure who he was writing about, but you can't see how it could be anyone but Redbeard. You slip three sheets out of the middle of the thick stack and place them in your satchel. He's concerned. I probably should have mentioned something like that. Okay, let's see if there's anything else we can investigate here, at least. Uh, Folker, is there anything we can do? No. Nothing from you. I guess I probably should have mentioned to Redbeard that he was concerned. Alright. Let's see if uh, this person has anything they want us to do. Look around about this way. Envoy Deren, I'm interested in doing more work for you. Ah, well, I am far more familiar with Avedon than I was when we first started working together. The only location I have questions about is... Redbeard's Tower itself. I wouldn't want you to risk your health poking around in your keeper's home. However, I believe that there is powerful magic in there. If someone learns something about it, I would be very appreciative. Do you know anything about his power? No, not a thing. None of us do. It is an area of particular curiosity. Do you think that he has traps up there? Huh, <laughs> Redbeard's private tower where he stores his most closely held secrets and tools? No, I'm sure it's perfectly safe. She wants us to investigate Redbeard's tower. That seems a bit much. I don't know if that's something I'm going to do. Let me see if I can speak with, uh, Redbeard first about this. I probably should. I did vouch for him before, but now I should mention this. At least I feel so. He did ask me about it once, but then nothing. Uh, Redbeard. Oh, I can talk with other ki about other people? I want to talk about Diedrich. Yes, a hand. Shaman. Had some trouble with his tribe, yes? Sorry, business. Which reminds me, I've had a report of Caval mercenaries being killed in the contested lands. The perpetrators were unknown. Do you know anything about this? I'm afraid I killed them. Did you? And did you realize that you caused me a considerable diplomatic mess? A mess I have no time to deal with? Uh, you have irritated and inconvenienced me. Still, the Kavab moving mercenaries there was quite a provocation. You did have the authority to act. 
I will not punish you, but I am annoyed. We will leave it at that. That is all. Redbeard nods. He returns to work without a word. Very well, I guess we'll just have to bring this to Hand Callan. Uh, Heart Callan, actually. Not Hand. She's not a Hand anymore. Now, now that I think about it, we've been to every region in uh, Avedon, except Swargald. It's the only region we haven't visited. Alright, Hart Callan, I'd like to give you some information. I need to speak with you about Hart Protus. Callan is instantly wary. You have information on a heart, an advisor of Redbeard. I will listen to what you say. After all, a heart betrayed us only recently. However, you should tread very lightly. I found these papers in his quarters. In his quarters? Oh, Farron, what have you been tampering with? She takes the papers and puts them in her satchel without even glancing through them. Then she gives you a large pouch of coins. For your bravery, your foolish bravery, I will make sure that they are properly evaluated. We will have no re repeats of the Miranda debacle on my watch. I don't have anything to say. Hart Callan nods. Noted. Is there anything else I can do for the good of Avedon? No. Okay. All right then. Probably not, but let's see if I la if I Laria has anything. Anything else I can do for you? No. Okay. Um. Not really much else I can think of that we need to check up on. Uh, Alcander. Alcander walks around the mountains of supplies. You note know that he seems less angry than usual. He seems almost thoughtful. Odd. When he sees you, he doesn't frown or snap or swear at anything. Baron, I have a question. You aren't yelling. Do you feel alright? Shut up. Ask your question. Here it is. We hands of almost limitless power. The laws only apply to us if we want them to. This gives us the chance to obtain great wealth and power. My question, is it right that we should be able to do so? Uh, we need to help the pact. Everything is second to that. <laughs> and when does the pact aid us? After we lie dead in a ditch somewhere? More sanctimony. I expect it better from you, Farron. Enough philosophy. Say what you need to, then leave me alone. Uh, I want to talk about the treasure with you. Shh. Keeping Avedon from confiscating our loot will be a challenge. I'll find a way to release it for us. Be patient. I may be angry, but I know how to keep up my end of a contract. Hmm. Now that I think about it... Let me go see if Diedrich has anything he wishes to speak about. I am very, very curious. Diedrich. No, he has nothing to say. Okay. So, uh, we have a couple minutes. Do we have anything we can sell? Not really, no. Well, actually, we do, but. Okay. Hmm. Well. And I just realized I accidentally muted the game. Uh, well then. Um... I guess we go to the Contested Lands. Take a walk in, and I'm... Yeah, I'm not going to go into anywhere except stop in the fort itself. And of course take Kalida and Diedrich, because they live in this area. Who else would I take? Before I do, I want to see if returning to Avedon will get any more from, uh, what's his name? If we'll actually get a quest from Polis. I want to check that first. I feel, other than that, I feel like we're next going to go into the Tawan again. Okay, nothing from Polis. Yes, I feel like next we're going to go into the Tawan. It's going to be Contested Lands, Tawan... Corruption, Tawan. I don't know what we're going to do in Tawan. Probably narrow down where Delis is, then head into the corruption to stop Miranda at the core, then back to the Tawan Empire again to deal with all that. Anyway, to deal with Delis, or try to. I don't know if we'll actually finish Delis. Probably not. That's probably for Avedon 3. Anyway, 